What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys, welcome to part two with this unpredictable cyclone deck. Uh, we had very bad luck. Uh, I, I won't say bad luck, we had, I, I had very bad plays uh, the first time we played with this deck, so I'm interested to see, hopefully we can better ourselves in this one and not only learn the deck a little bit better, but just play a little bit so more solid. So this, not a keep, I don't think. Um, this is sketchy, but I will keep it. I don't, do we keep this? This is so rough, guys, gotta be honest. Um, I'm finding myself not loving we'll say certain pieces of this deck. Um, certainly some of which I can do better about, but I think a lot of it is just not great. Um, I'm actually gonna play this first. I kinda don't wanna fetch, so that way we can we can get uh, as many lands out as early as possible, and we, we have the highest chance of drawing a, a land here. I feel like against these kinds of decks, we're in bad, bad shape. Uh, let's do that. Not a bad land to draw, honestly, uh, but now I'm kind of wishing I had gone the other way, though obviously that wouldn't have been on top now. These kinds of decks, I think, are a big problem for this list, uh, just to be straight up honest. Um, we can sweep, but they have obviously the ability to kind of do whatever they need to do here, so... I'm gonna get white. Uh, and we'll pass. We have the fire prophecy, uh, so I can certainly shoot down something here. I mean, I could shoot the cat, but they can still just sacrifice this to the oven, so it's like, not the best thing in the world. I'm just gonna do this. This deck is sweet, by the way. I've seen this this list a couple times. Hmm. I want to just Stephanie and Clarion, but I don't know that that's one hundred percent right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that though. It gets rid of these. Uh, so we're gonna take some damage probably here. I mean, they can they can bring this back, um, but then we have the ability to do this, bounce it if we would like, or bounce you know something here. Um, yeah, I don't I don't love our matchup, and they just have another scorpion. Yeah, wow, and priest. Okay. Man's not bad, but it's really not great. Um, thank me later. I'm gonna bounce that, because uh, it represents more damage. Hmm. 
Oh, I don't feel good, guys. This deck is not doing what I want it to do. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, we just lose, right? Like, there's... There's very little we can do about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. They've got it. Uh, they've got the damage literally on board. Um, all right, moving on. Um, unfortunately. Man, this deck is really not doing what I'd love it to do. Um, and I, I certainly think in the first video, like I said, we definitely misplayed a lot. Uh, in fact, that last game we, we basically threw. Um, I think we actually had a pretty good setup, and I just I, I whiffed on playing the Deafening Clarion at the right time. Now, though, I mean, that hand, I don't really think we did anything terribly wrong. Um, I just don't think we really had much. Now, here I'm going to keep this. Um solely because we've got a little bit of interaction with this. Uh, if we can sweep with the Deafening Clarion, then we've got Teferi to back ourselves up. So this is worth a shot, at least. And I do think I kind of just cycle this away quickly. Maybe not, actually. Um, On second thought, yeah, I'm going to, and this is the wrong time to do this, but I'm just going to do this now. Okay. That's actually great, because that means we do not have to shock ourselves, and we can play this out, play Fire Prophecy, killing, you know, one of these two cards, and then next turn, uh, we can either shock ourselves, or depending on what we draw, we can Deafening Clarion. So we'll pass here, we'll see what they play, and then we will Fire Prophecy, hopefully something. So this, whenever you gain life, right. Okay. So let's make sure they do not gain life. Um, I'm gonna put Shark Typhoon on the bottom here. Okay. Kinda happy with that. Um, and we got another Shark Typhoon. So I'm gonna do this, pay two. I'm gonna play this. And I'm gonna bounce that. Um, <clears throat> we kind of just need to keep drawing cards. Uh, now they can replay Heliod if they would like, or they play maybe a land or another creature. Now if they play more creatures, we have Deafening Clarion, so that's great. Um, didn't want to bounce the Charming Prince, because that doesn't seem very helpful with a Heliod on the field. Um, that oh, takes that damage, that's that fine. Let's just get rid of this before it has any chance to do too much more. And now they do have to commit to the board something else so they can actually uh, get somewhere here. Kind of hope they play another creature, but it looks like they will not. Man, we are not getting lands. Uh, Deafening Clarion, again. Now we really, really just need lands. <laughs> Daxos is good, but we we have another definite Glareon. Uh, I feel kind of bad that we just keep doing this, but I mean, we got to get them in top deck mode, so I think this is the way to do it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's certainly going to be a problem. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's cycle this. If we get a land, we can do it again. And we didn't. That's not good. Um, man, we are not hitting lands with this deck. I think there's a reasonable explanation to go up to 26 lands in a deck like this. I don't know. We're, we're trying to get to turn 5. And this is a control list. So, like, you really, really need to hit your lands, as we are seeing. Um, and so I think there's... There is something to be said for potentially just trying to do that. Um, 
like we are just not getting there with this um oh we can't bounce that let's bounce the Iliad, I suppose holy crap we are still not getting our lands this is insane I mean 24 lands is pretty good so like this seems a little excessive um but hey I mean there's not much we can do about it so I'm not falling in love with this list like I thought I would, to be honest. Um, I, I thought we would have a much easier, not easier time, but a much more explosive kind of thing happening. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going to pass. Concede. Man, not getting there. Not getting there, not getting there. Um, okay, so do we have one more game? I believe it's one more game. Uh, this feels very, very bad, if I'm honest. Uh, it's fun to try new stuff like this, and I do think there is a list with Unpredictable Cyclone that could be good. Um, at the very least, it's a JDC, uh, material for sure. If you don't know what that is, you should check out our channel, but... Like, this just... Like, we have our lands, but we now... We have so many six drops in the deck that I feel like that's just so bad. Um... Granted, a lot of them cycle, so I'm going to keep just because we have the Deafening Clarion. I just, I don't know what's the right call, to be honest. Maybe it's just that I'm bad at this deck. That's a very big possibility. Um, uh, uh, not feeling good about this list. Green, black, huh? Adventures. Gotcha. Could have potentially just done that, but don't think we necessarily need to at this moment. Yup. Gogari Adventures, huh? It's a pretty sweet list, by the way. Uh, we'll just do this and pass. I feel like it's worth it to hold on to these things in case like these cyclers in case we get, you know, the the cyclone, but it just doesn't seem to get there. Um gonna bounce the clover. Shatter's actually pretty good just because my expectation is they're gonna start playing out these beanstalk giants. <laughs> okay, yep, I'm guessing they're definitely playing a beanstalk giant. Yep. Guess it's worth it. We can. We do get the opportunity to do this at instant speed, so. Mm -hmm. And that's why we do it. Really, really happy that they uh, played that innkeeper there. That was great. Uh, yeah, take action. Let's get, let's get you out there. Thank you. Now we have Dream Traveler mana. But see, now at this point, we're just playing a regular control deck. <laughs> like, I mean, we got the Dream Traveler. And we still have 20 life, so, like, we're not dead. I will happily discard a Fire Prophecy, considering it's probably not going to do much in this, this list. Excuse me. 
They can't target this anymore. I was a little worried there. I was like, wait, crap, they did target it, but no, okay. Okay, well, we won one, but we didn't do the cool thing. Like, <laughs> I'm very happy we won. Don't get me wrong. Dream Trawler, amazing. Kudos to Dream Trawler. But it had nothing to do with playing an unpredictable Cyclone. And that's kind of the point of the deck. So that kind of sucks. But, you know, it it's a silly deck. It's meant to be kind of fun and silly. So maybe there's a world where this works. And maybe, look, again, first video, I played completely wrong. So I fully understand that was on me. Uh, however, I think a lot of the time we just didn't have the cards that we needed at the right time, and I don't know if that's just unlucky or if that's the deck itself. Please feel free. If you have played this deck, if you have a better list or anything like that, please, please share it. I'm a little salty towards it now, but uh, I'm super willing to, to try something new if you guys have something. So if you do, please share it. I really do appreciate any and all submissions there. Um, I think this deck could be could be good. So we'll we'll see uh, in the future, maybe. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video, despite uh, it not being the best of wins. Uh, it was still very, very fun. Really do appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next gameplay video.